Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Number of relations on a set and list them. In this class, we are going to learn number of relations on a set and we are going to list all the relations on a particular set. For example, I will take set A. Set A equal to 1 comma 2. Now, I will calculate A cross A. In previous class, we learned how to calculate Cartesian product of sets. I will calculate A cross A. A cross A equals to set 1 comma 2 cross set 1 comma 2. You know how to write A cross A. A cross A equal to you consider first element in first set and pair with all the elements of second set. That is 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2. Order pair 1 comma 1, order pair 1 comma 2. Now you take second element in first set and pair with all the elements of second set. That is you take an element 2 in first set and pair with all the elements of second set. That is ordered pair 2 comma 1 comma ordered pair 2 comma 2. In last class we learned number of relations from set A to B. Number of relations from set A to B equal to 2 power n of A cross B. So here number of relations on set A equal to 2 power n of A cross A. That equals to n of A cross A. Number of elements in A cross A. You observe number of elements in A cross A is 4. So that equal to 2 power 4. 2 power 4 is nothing but 16. So if set A is having 2 elements, A cross A is having 4 elements. Number of relations on set A equal to 16. 2 power 4 that equals to 16. Okay. Now we will list all the relations on set A. We know that any subset of A cross A is called relation on A. First, empty set is subset of A cross A. Yes, I will take R1 as empty set. Empty set is subset of A cross A. So, empty set is a relation. I take an R1 as empty set. R1 is a relation on set A. Now, I will consider all the elements in A cross A. R2. In R2, I will consider all the elements of A cross A. Is R2 is a relation on A? Yes, because R2 is subset of A cross A. So, R1, R2. We listed two relations. One is empty set. Empty set is a subset of A cross A. So, empty set is a relation on A. And the set, every set is subset to itself. R2, I taken it as A cross A. R2 is a relation on A. Now, I will take all the subsets which are having a single element r3 r3 equals to ordered pair 1 comma 1 see it contains only one element that is ordered pair 1 comma 1 is this r3 is subset of a cross a yes r3 is subset of a cross a so r3 is relation on a like that i will consider all single element subsets of a cross a you see you take r4 r4 is what a set which contains only one element that one element is ordered pair 1 comma 2 so, R4 is a relation on set A. R5. R5, I consider it as set that element is ordered pair 2 comma 1. Is R5 is a subset of A cross A? Yes. So, R5 is a relation on A. Similarly, R6, I take a single element 2 comma 2. R6 is also relation on A. Actually, total we will get 16 relations. Now, I retain 6 relations here. First two relations. Empty set is subset to every set. That's why R1 is a relation on set A. R2, every set is subset to itself. That's why R2 is also relation on set A. R3, R4, R5, R6. If you observe these uh, four relations, they are single element subsets of A cross A. So, they are all relations on set A. Now, we need to write another 10 relations. Okay. Now, I will consider all two element subsets of A cross A. You take R7. You observe here, ordered pair 1 comma 1 and immediate ordered pair is ordered pair 1 comma 2. You take it. 
you first take order pair 1 comma 1 and immediate next order pair is order pair 1 comma 2 so r7 is taken as order pair 1 comma 1 order pair 1 comma 2 r8 r8 you take that order pair 1 comma 1 and you move towards right 1 comma 2 already we taken towards right you observe what to take next ordered pair 2 comma 1 similarly r9 you observe r9 first i take an ordered pair 1 comma 1 you move towards right 1 comma 2 already taken 2 comma 1 already taken now what is remaining ordered pair 2 comma 2 so r9 is ordered pair 1 comma 1 and ordered pair 2 comma 2 so R7, R8, R9, you observe all these three, R7, R8, R9, first element is order paid 1 comma 1 and next element we move towards the right and we return. I hope you are understanding. Now come to R10, you take an order paid 1 comma 2, take the order paid 1 comma 2, move towards right, what is there next, immediate number is what, order paid 2 comma 1. Similarly, R11, you take order pair 1 comma 2 and move towards right what you will get ordered pair 2 comma 2 you observe r10 r11 both the relations starts with ordered pair 1 comma 2 now come to r12 r12 see first you take an order pair 1 comma 1 you take a, you move towards right now you take an ordered pair 1 comma 2 and you move towards right now you take an ordered pair 2 comma 1 move towards right what is there 2 comma 2 very simple r12 is ordered pair 2 comma 1 and ordered pair 2 comma 2 so we will get six relations which are having two elements r7 r8 r9 r10 r11 r12 you observe all these relations in all these relations there are two elements are there i hope you are understanding now i'll consider all three element subsets of a cross A. R13 relation 13th relation. R13. Now you observe A cross A. Observe A cross A. Observe the first two elements. Order pair 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2. In R13 also, I will fix these two elements. R13. Ordered pair 1 comma 1, ordered pair 1 comma 2. Now you observe A cross A, you choose in first two elements, now you move towards right. You move towards right. What is there immediately after 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2? What is the immediate order pair? Ordered pair 2 comma 1. So you write it. Now R14. In R14 also you fix first two elements. Ordered pair 1 comma 1, ordered pair 1 comma 2. Now you move towards the right side. Order pair 2 comma 1 that you already written in R13. So what you will write in R14? Ordered pair 2 comma 2. Now you observe relation 13 and relation 14. Both are having first two elements same. R13 starts with order pair 1 comma 1, order pair 1 comma 2 and R14 also first two elements are order pair 1 comma 1 and order pair 1 comma 2. Now R15. You observe A cross A. Now I will take second element, third element that is ordered pair 1 comma 2, ordered pair 2 comma 1. Now you move towards right, towards right, what is, what you will write, ordered pair 2 comma 2. So R15 is what, ordered pair 1 comma 2, ordered pair 2 comma 1, ordered pair 2 comma 2. Now the last relation, 16th relation, actually it is easy, but you need to observe a little bit. You observe R13, R14, R15. You observe R13, R14, R15. We didn't form a relation with the first element, third element, fourth element. So, 16th relation I will form with these three elements. 16th relation is first element, third element, fourth element. Observe A cross A. First element, third element, fourth element. That is ordered pair 1 comma 1, ordered pair 2 comma 1, ordered pair 2 comma 2. In this way, for a given set A equals to 1 comma 2, we can form 16 relation. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please press like button below. Share this video with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.